What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have uh, the Ottoman, we have begun our offensive against the Ottomans and it's been a bit lackluster because we managed to take quite a lot of settlements without much of a fight. So we are going to um, kick off this episode with the seizure of Zagreb. There's a very weak force coming in as reinforcement, but I don't think it is going to make much of a difference. So let's attack Zagreb. And then we'll take the city, and I'm tossing up whether or not to push on and attack the armies to the north with the army I've been building behind Austria, which I think I will. And while I do that, the armies in Hungary and Vienna will then get generals and will be upgraded to full field armies as well to continue the push. Because then for now, I think I'm probably quite sorted for armies in the Balkans, because that would be um, three becoming four. So I want to get my artillery up here. So these horse guard artillery, they are um, horse artillery effectively, so they are faster. Sorry, there's a, someone with a uh, a tool outside who is making a bit of a noise. I just wanted to stop talking to see if I uh, see if the microphone picked it up, but it didn't. So I'm going to make so there's going to be a front line that's going to march up at speed to secure this hill, which I want. Then there's going to be a slower force that's going to pick up. It's going to march up behind them and go wherever the deployment is need, wherever any reinforcement is needed. That we're pretty good. So let's get up the hill with you guys. Horse guard artillery. Form up on the hill. My 24 pounders also form up. My howitzers will take slightly longer to get here, and it looks like probably going to pick these marines, young and old, to fix the right flank. And then these three infantry units march up, or run up to bolster the left flank. Also, my cavalry isn't going to really get a look in. Oop. Just a second, everyone. Someone's just rang my door. Sorry about that. Um, okay. See, so yeah, my cavalry, my general push up to the high ground. The cavalry's generally quite safe here. My dragoons are going to be fire at will on. So you may get charged by some of their skirmish cavalry. Well, I suppose. Let's run my heavy cavalry up to engage that unit of Muslim. What I really want to see is my... See, they're not... See, this is the thing. They're not necessarily horse artillery, but they're faster than foot artillery. Even though these teams... These horses aren't actually towing anything. These guys have all the weight. So two units of skirmish cavalry. My chevalier are going to engage them with one volley. The 13th foot guards will also do the same thing. He mends his fire. Even though we didn't get much of a good charge off. He meant fire it will off. Attack the unit of Muslim. You men are all going to engage the enemy cavalry, the Mamelukes that are on their way in. I don't care if the second skirmish cavalry unit gets involved. The more the merrier. There we go. So you men get out of there. Should you guys hit the Azar? Because they're going to try and charge you for some reason. And limber these guns. Mamelukes are charging in again, but again, the same thing is my... I've got some good skirmish cavalry. We've got, well, not skirmish cavalry, I've got good heavy cavalry. So you men kill a few more of the Azar. They're shattered. The Muslim is shattered. Get my heavy cavalry away. Both of these units charge the armed populace. These three units push the flank. Except for the cavalry. The gunners are engaging enemy at dangerously close range. 
should really have advanced my man ahead of the front. Okay, if you can knock out that Zimindari horseman. Although, to be honest, you're both heavy cavalry. No, you're not. Cheval Leger are regular melee troops. You men form line. Fusiliers form square. You men form up. In a position where the guns will provide support, you men advance. Canister shot the swordsman, you guys round shot that Zemendari pikeman unit that's en route. General's providing good support. The U men fall back. Fusiliers fall back. Form square, don't play stakes. Actually, let's get my marines involved in this combat just to provide a bit of support for the cavalry. Not gonna need all that firepower in the, in the center. Delhi horsemen have engaged my cavalry. Sadly, they got a successful charge off. You men reform your line. A few men can get out of formation. Canister shots. That garrison Islamic swordsman. Fusiliers form square again. Okay, all of okay, pick cavalry out. And advance. The Marines. Send these Marines forward to charge the Azar. These marines push up to secure new territory. All my gunners fire round shot into Zimandari horsemen to the rear. Lots of fighting in the centre that's gone generally our way. You may encounter charge the armed populace. Same with you fellows, charge the account, charge the Azar. These Mamelukes are advancing, but that's not necessarily the best thing for them to do. Oh, I got Serpus Cavalry, forgot about- oh no, those must be- no, oh. forgot about that Cavalry. Lost a few men to the stakes. The armed populace will fall fairly quickly, especially as a unit of Azars mixed in there as well. Form up. Cavalry, artillery, keep blasting the horsemen. Get my cavalry back, get my infantry back. Let's form line. Yes, these marines will engage your cavalry. Your pikemen, sorry. Yes, they will. My marines aren't afraid of your pikes. Newman advance. Push the remainder of my line forward. Okay, let's pull the bulk of my cavalry back. Let's work on destabilizing the armed populace first. My howitzers have had zero use. Ultimately, these are the reinforcements coming in. Let's get my heavy horse artillery to work on counter battery. They're very good at that. They got much more firepower and are more accurate than most other gun types. My other foot artillery unit attack the enemy 
a musketeer, a janitory musketeer unit. Unlimber my howitzers. They might be a bit out of range, but they're still going to be pretty darn good. So we've got some garrison Islamic swordsmen pushing up. Let's reform the line. Get some marines to support the right flank. Take them head on, secure the high ground on the left. It's very nice of their, them to send their Islamic swordsmen to two units of marines. Some of the best units I've got to face them off, face off with them. Uh, just pick some random targets for my howitzers. Excellent. Seamen run, get into position, stretch out my rank. Where's my Chevaux Leger? Get them up into the front line as well. These engineers might not necessarily have great targets of opportunity. Yeah, this cavalry unit can go forward and knock out the enemy guns. Just let my artillery and the rest of their formation. So you chaps, you should be reloaded by now. Might kill a few marines. You did. <laughs> but my marines aren't going to need the help. There they go, they've already routed. Horns on... Oh, they've limbered up. That's perfect. So long, troops. If we can destroy that gun team, that would be absolutely perfect. Well, those gun teams. Go on, quickly. For the last... Everyone's routing. Come on. Ah, we're going to end it there, though. Fundamentally, that reinforcing army was already heavily depleted when they came in. So I'm expecting a lot of... Yeah, a lot of casualties. 91 men left remaining. Only 585 Bavarians lost their lives. And we're going to eventually take Zagreb. My reinforcement is two grand, which is not what I've got. And because I've got no money, I'm actually not going to push. But I will. I definitely will. And um, apart from that, where's my... It's got the garrison force of Tangier. It is Tripoli force that's trying to subdue the population. We've pushed and taken Athens and we're rebuilding it and we've pushed into the Holy Land. And we're going to keep pushing onwards into Damascus, but I kind of want to see what the Ottomans are going to do in response to this. Our front line on the east, in the east, is quite strong. Got Copenhagen garrison that really, really should go to Reykjavik. And we've also got some other excitement in the, in the Americas, but that's kind of taking a bit of a backseat from this Ottoman attack. Because, yeah... We're not so worried about them in the Caribbean. But let's hit end turn. And if the Ottomans uh, decide to be silly, then I will chop the recording. So it was about three minutes-ish for the first... For when I first cut that segment off. Uh, good piece of paper to write things down on. Poland's rummaging around. But they're not ever going to really gain the mass needed to defeat us, especially as they seem determined to recruit low quality units and it looks like the ottomans are going to be silly so see you in a second everyone and we're back and the only thing that's the only things that really happened was they sent ships towards um gibraltar just to kind of raid which is fine there's only three ships and they decided oh, and they decided for to reinforce the armies of the balkans but now the swedes are attacking me you know what screw you sweden Okay, so I'm going to want to build an army, or raise another army in the west to fight against Sweden. Fine. Let's do it, Sweden. The Mughals are on the sail again, so they are probably going to land more troops in Europe. Because this is what happens when you leave them um, uncontested in their part of the world for too long. But I haven't really got the funds to, fun to uh, continue a three-front war like that. 
So they're going to raid. That's fine. Not not bothered about that. Okay, so... Trade port on Alexandria. Let's boost that. Building up reinforcements. You're going to push on to Damascus. You're going to build... Uh, let's build some... Fourth rates in the east. Let's build... Well, getting good roads. Algiers, upgrade the farmland, same for tunas as well if I can. Upgrade the fishery, build a light galley, upgrade the farm. Upgrade you to a local fishery. Boost the growth of the towns. Trade agreement cancelled with Sweden. Workers are on strike in Morea. Not anymore, they aren't. So, trade port, governor's residence. Buildings, farmland, iron workshop, build a light guide, occupy the port, go to the commercial port, and then you, Mr. Actually, you want to stay there while the port is open. We can repair the government building here. Let's reinforce Eugene, local fishery. Fine, I'll keep that. And upgrade you to a trade port. Let's get two galleys to occupy both of these ports. Which I may as well recruit. Oh yes, and repair you. Build a galley elsewhere. And then, because you guys are looking pretty knackered. Okay, there's a few things I need to do actually. Right. Such as build a new army. Worthy of Sweden. Especially as this France is very stable. Uh, okay, let's pull you guys out of France. Not colonial like cavalry. Actually, let's just recruit for directly from Paris. Hohenzollern. Curacier Hussar. 124 pound of horse artillery unit. 124 pound of foot artillery unit. 132 pound of heavy horse artillery unit. 124 pound of howitzer unit. And let's get some line infantry guards. Can I get them here? Apparently not. Or if I can, I well maybe I can't afford them. No, I can't afford them. Can I really afford one unit to so get let's go for a unit of grenadier guards. Can you start building up another army ready to attack Sweden? If they siege me, we will sally, because my army is beautifully structured to allow that to happen. Uh, we're not going to be able to stop them from crossing. I mean, they've not got a great navy, but my navy here is building up. Okay, let's hit end turn. Let's allow everything to tick on one more turn, which means it'll probably be another cut to allow the Ottomans to ruin my end turn phase. If I can raise an army in Paris, I can then push up and I can land them at Norway and begin my counter-offensive out of Copenhagen into Stockholm and maybe get them to agree to peace. Um, but yes, see you in a second. Mm -hmm. The Russian build-up continues. Uh, the only real thing that we know, the only thing real thing that happened, was that there are a handful of troops to the west of our army um, in Jerusalem. And oh, how cute! They're going to attack me with a lot of cavalry. Very well. Let us defend Copenhagen from the Swedish invader. We'll push them back, hold on to the city, build a force in Paris, uh, land in Norway, offensive towards Stockholm, try and go for peace to squeeze them back towards Finland, keep one army in Stockholm, then the army that's in Norway can be ready, uh, can be deployed ready to uh, invade Iceland. So this is the trick with facing lots of cavalry is you know they're going to go mad for the uh, the guns in their defensive positions. They're going to go absolutely crazy for them. Sadly though, I haven't got anyone to deploy stakes and I'm going to deploy a bit conservatively. Let's get my 12 pounders deployed. 
Maybe more to the rear, because then they, they can at least lob shells over my line. Uh, let's make sure you guys are grouped up. Good. Unit of ground is still to deploy, which is going to go behind my guns. And then my own cavalry deploy wide on the flanks. But the main thing is, I got howitzers with quick lime, so any infantry concentrations that form will quickly be eradicated. So you men blast straight into the center. Ooh, good kills. That might be the 22nd regiment routed completely. Oop, accidentally deployed you with my infantry. There we go. It's got a shot off from these howitzers, which may... You may be too close now. So go for the marines. Allow my conventional... Hit the marines nicely. I mean, you guys can... I mean, it looks like they're going to try and go for my guns, so advance my grenadiers up. And they are... El Clasico! Now, just go for them. And my gun crews... Retreat. Just keep your gunners away. I'm not bothered about the... The, the, uh, the gun crews... I'm not concerned about the horses running away. The important thing is that the gunners are still alive, and they can man their guns. Oh, they just... Oh, okay, right. They're after, they are after my gun crew. Specifically. Ah, my gun crew. I've got tied up with... Shenanigans. There we go. Man the guns. You men go wide. You men get out of square. Because you've got a flank to push. Big cavalry concentration on the left. Gunners switch to canister shot and begin engaging. Ah, oh, that's the only one of my gun teams are going to be alive. I've got some weird sound effects. Nope, you men attack the SARS, you men follow up with the attacks. My Val Dragoons hit the 39th Regiment foot. Push my cavalry up the flank. All the horse grenade guards have dismounted. You might have to counter charge the gunners. They're going to be out of it for a bit. Okay. How it says this is getting a bit messy. Switch to round shot. Engage the enemy infantry. You men push out and support the attack on the marines. You men push the right flank towards the fusiliers. Deploy the infantry. Pursue. Pursue the enemy. Don't allow them an opportunity to regroup. One of you run straight through. My cuirassier go for the general's bodyguard. These cuirassier go after the enemy in the centre. You men push past this cavalry fight. Owen Zollen. Ah, come on. Keep pushing past. Get involved, general. Get 
new man charge, artillery, all ceasefire. There we go, let's get one unit of cavalry across to attack the Fusiliers. Mohohenzollern, it'd be nice to get the General's bodyguard. You men all... No, eh, don't bother. Hold back, General's bodyguard. Push. And we are going to continue here, because we've got a good number of enemy troops uh, currently just booking it. We do have marines running around, it would be nice to kill them, but I'm okay with not. Let's just try take out some units. Although I'm afraid, it looks like horse grenade guards would be a good get. You guys are getting stuck. Hit the mercenaries. Yeah, you're definitely getting stuck on something. Is it the horses? You men go after the mercenaries. You men might be able to kill the fusiliers. Horse grenade guards are good units to kill because they are incredibly frustrating units to fight when they decide to stay mounted and skirmish. There we go. So it's just this one unit all the way over there. And they've been defeated. Now it's a bit of a messy messy fight. I definitely guarantee that I will try and not do that again. But, I mean, they lost 2,100 men. Their forces just obliterated. Ah! They've landed more troops in northern Germany. That's not quite so ideal. But this is why I wanted to keep my front line in the east strong. Because we can pull troops back if we suffer any local defeats. But that's kind of the reason why you do need a Baltic fleet to prevent enemy penetrations behind the lines. Come on, pirates. Skip being piratey. I'm not interested in what you have to offer. Alexandria was blockaded. That's what it was. Are you input to uh, try and see if you can demand the surrender of the city? No. Hold on to it. I'm not overly keen on pushing too aggressively in the Middle East. This is unfortunate. Because they're within spitting distance of Berlin. And there's nothing I can do about it except for maybe... Dump you guys in Dresden. And then next turn, leapfrog forward. Shouldn't be any, any major problems. They might knock down the Jesuit College. Or... What's the zone of control like? Still significant. Um, I think we might we might temporarily lose Berlin, but that's not not a massive problem. You men are going to be committed to f uh, committed for uh, counter-offensive actions. So let's let them let them have their fun. So you've got 12 recruitment slots, so you can get two pink-coated or red-coated infantry. There we go. So because we are about to commence on a significant expansion of our fighting capability, let us... Ah, yes, we've got special infantry here. Two Lieb regiments... Got two Lieb Guard Regiment, Grenadier Lieb Regiment. Let's get two of those. Don't have any cavalry. Let's get Kaiserian okay. Horse Grenadiers plus Hohenzollern plus Lancer Guards. Then we need to get some. Get two mercenaries. Two regular line infantry units, and then you need two more infantry from somewhere, which you'll probably be able to get from Venice. Let's pull you guys north. So you men, you know, these guys are just gonna hold. These these garrisons are quite strong. If they attempt to push us, they they will fail. 
but I think we're not going to be able to prevent these fellas from doing something frustrating. Not that that'll be a huge issue. So let's keep our recruitment plans going. 2,200, that probably... Well, one thing I probably want to do... Go to Athens. Let's say, right, Franz Lauter. Can you leave Athens? You can. Let's build Larissa up into a church school. You men push to war. Or do you... Okay. Scoot up to Istanbul. See how, what, we, what we're dealing with. Not a lot. Could go on a raid towards Istanbul. Kind of seems like a bit of a waste. Uh, hmm, right. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think, to be honest, I'm probably just going to want to build out my troops. So, Dresden, you're you're quite well protected, but let's crew some infantry ready for the counter-offensive. The only thing they're probably going to do is break down this Jesuit college. They might break down Vismar, which would be frustrating, but not game-breaking, especially when we counter-attack and take Stockholm and get Uppsala. Fortunately, it's going to take a few turns to gain. Let's get the troops from there. We could, yeah, we could Shanghai a few from London. Try and speed this up somewhat. Just drop them off the coast. We don't have to worry about getting them here next turn. Just go join them. Good construction across the board. 42,000 next turn. My treasury minister's freaking amazing. Corn factor, private secretary, well connected, well connected to mistress. I mean... So he's plus two treasury, plus one management, plus one army, plus one treasury, plus one treasury, plus two just justice. So plus two, plus one... One. Okay, he's definitely better for treasury than he is um, as a justice minister. So I think I'm going to leave those guys as it is. Okay, let's hit end turn. We just need to crank out a few turns to get the army in Paris um, up to strength. And when my navy's good, I'll blockade the enemy uh, across the straits near Copenhagen, send my army to march across and attack Stockholm. If they do go for Berlin, which it seems like they will, then we will take the city. And to be honest, if they take Berlin, we'll go for Finland. We won't go for peace. We'll go for every single one of the territories. Um, but see you in a second, everyone. Right. I mean, I'm looking forward to eventually fighting over Vilnius because that'd be quite a significant action. But if we're all waiting for that Swedish flag to tick across. Uh, they are going to... Okay. Okay. They're going to raid... The bejesus out of the mainland. All right then. I'll take that. I think the Mughals won't be, it won't be long to the Mughals show up and invade England or Great Britain, I should say, or the United Kingdom, I should say. They might go for Ireland. Um, yeah, my agent. Oh, so they moved their army out of the capital. Have they gone over here? Oh no, there they are. Okay, so let's keep the economy train rolling. I'm still sieging Istanbul. I'm sieging Damascus. I'm okay with that. The African native infantry push up to Jerusalem. Or towards Jerusalem, at least. Take advance. We've got shortened carbines. We've gone to machine rifling. We've got citizenship. And they're going on to secular humanism. Rather than that, Orléans. Although you are not the best person to have doing this. Coburg, get on to classical economics. Orléans, carry on with um, advanced irrigation. A lot of recruitment. Good. It's this army. Ten spaces left. So you need two more units. So let's get... 
Just get two units of regular old line infantry. Three turns, and this army's done. You man, eight slots. Two turns, and this army is done. I mean, my agent's going to definitely try and assassinate your general. And we got him. Nice. Okay, keep my navy. Oh, oh, ooh. Okay, right. So some of our Iron Masters works. We've got steam engine. Did we, is that one of the things we... One of the techs we recently got. Because that is huge. Because iron... A steam engine factory earns a huge chunk of wealth and really boosts our... Um, boosts our turn... Our um, town wealth growth. They are expensive, but we got a guy who makes our iron build iron master works iron master buildings a bit cheaper. Let's probably build his sum up to a steam dry dock. But yeah, with, with steam engines, a lot of things come into play now. We can rec that's that's a serious money earner. Steam engines are. Okay, one thing I might try and do. Actually, no, I don't have to worry about it yet. I was hoping, seeing if I could try and make peace with Poland and punt lots of these armies out of our territory. Um, but the main thing is this Swedish force here, which it looks like they're just going to raid, which is fine. I could probably stand to recruit some militia here as a garrison, just in case they need to march this army west. Although, to be honest, you are probably going to pursue them to prevent them from fleeing. That probably means we require Sigmund Meyer. Keep the recruitment of new armies going. Colonial Light Cavalry, no. Not two heavy cavalry units, that's four units of cavalry, let's go for... 12 pounders in this army, not for explicitly uh, heavy artillery. I mean, you could get used. This infantry can push up. I'm happy to keep militia and demi cannons behind the lines to act as a more re as a more um, informal guard unit. I mean, what I could do, which is probably a good idea, is to say, okay, let's try Poland. Let's see if you'll chill out. Interesting. Then Mr. Heinemann could push on Sarajevo, but we're not interested in that. New men, however, can attack this Ottoman pair here. It's got some depleted units, some good chunks of troops. But we've got a really good force to destroy a large number of Ottoman troops, then hopefully drive east, secure um, one of the river crossings, and then potentially the Vienna garrison can move southeast to secure Belgrade. And then the force that is to the south in Athens can then push towards Istanbul rather than having to worry about uh, potential threats from the north. So let's get deployed, and let's get to fighting. So this is the difference. I can put my engineers in front and deploy stakes ahead of my uh, big artillery battery. You men hold the front, although probably want to deploy some guns in the center or at least more in the center good so you men or well, one of you isn't isn't the unit I'm after it's probably gonna be you doesn't look like, it doesn't look like it was actually nope just realized I had them all grouped properly in the menu anyway
good chunk of troops to hold the left. Heavy artillery. Get ready to nail them. Group my range cavalry together on one flank. Well, they're not strictly speaking ranged cavalry, I suppose. Not the Kaserian horse grenadiers, not until they dismount. Apart from that, though, my foot artillery cease fire because every single unit that can deploy stakes is gonna deploy stakes. And I don't want my artillery to fire and upset the balance. There we go. Double lines of stakes. My fusiliers looking pretty awesome. Push the enemy cavalry on the flank because they're both skirmish cavalry units. Run these engineers back behind the line. You men attack the horsemen. Fire at will. There's a potential there for the, to have some fratricide issues. If they try and withdraw through the stakes, will they? Well, they shouldn't die. There's a Nizam light infantry advancing. Delhi horsemen are advancing to support this combat. There's only 50 of them. Engage the Janissary Musketeers directly ahead. Kill them, Curacia. Yeah, you haven't lost a single Cura cavalryman. Keep attacking. Kill all the ones in the middle. Shattered. Good stuff. Charge down towards the Zamandari horsemen. The Nizam. Ah, oh, they've walked within range of my battle line. They look beautiful. That's very unfortunate. pivot some of my troops because they'll also fire against the against the uh, Janissary block heading our way so charge a unit in against the Delhi horsemen you men could probably stand to pivot a bit more this way I mean my quick climb is doing glorious work Oh, good hits. Slap bang in the middle of their concentration. There we go. Switch my gunners to canister shot. These poor souls that are charging in. Muslim and Janissaries. My horse grenadiers chase down the Azar. Push my cavalry up towards these Sekban Janissaries. But yeah, fundamentally, these guys are in for a bad time. Make sure my engineers are firing well off. There we go. These cavalrymen are going to mow down these skirmishes then run on into the horsemen the enemy reinforcements are on their way good hits so these these might be melee infantry but these are heavy cavalry on the charge they can still do a lot of damage and their morale might even break before that before they actually start to fight against us well there they go There you go, they're shattered, so withdraw my cavalry.
These Janissary Musketeers. Ah, my gunners, run! These Muslim made it to the line. Oh, there's one gunner. Bless him. Blast him. Let's try quick climb the general. This unit can actually try quick climb these Israeli that are dug into the rear. Janissary Grenadiers are not going to be around for very long. So my infantry form form line. Let's get rid of the the gun position. It's going to be a bit irrelevant now. Let's run my skirmish cavalry up towards their general. Actually, no, you're, no, you're still good to attack the Israeli to the rear. I think I wonder if these guys these guys are stuck because of the stakes. Chase down those skirmish cavalry. I mean your horse grenadiers. Horse grenadiers yeah, horse grenadiers, not grenadier guards. Go on, Crassier, go chase down the general's bodyguard. These Janissaries have held, they've held the line fairly well. It's another General's Bodyguard unit on their way in. Oh, they didn't want to push. They don't want to advance. My artillery's in range. Bombard them. So you chase after that bodyguard unit. You men chase after that lone unit. Enemy general's been killed. I think the general on this unit is still alive and kicking. Is that him? No. Charge into that Janissary Musketeer unit, but in general... This army's orders are to fall back. How it says, fire round shot. Okay, bring my cavalry back. I'm surprised. I'm so surprised this gunner is still alive. E especially as he's eager, but no, stay in the bush. Keep you men withdrawing, you men withdraw as well. And let's see what happens because they. Here they come. Right, okay. So they are going to push in. I guess they didn't want to push in. Um, until they had the mass. You man engage that unit of Mamelukes because they're currently exposed. My howitzers are just ready to, ready to open fire with whatever they like. Here come some Azars. I think deploying those stakes actually screwed them up. Because look, they didn't want to do anything. Interesting. For future reference, don't deploy stakes too close. Oh, that quick climb volley shattered the Azar just when they got to the front line. But here's some Nizam infantry, proper proper fighting troops. I 
Yeah, they're going to lose troops. Oh, and these Semenes are getting whipped by volley fire. And there's nothing they can do to stop it. I So I wonder if, if I limber up, they should, asterisk, be able to get through my own stakes. Because they're my stakes. My cavalry can get through them. Well, let's experiment. Yeah, they're going to start opening fire on my cavalry. But these poor Nizam. My dragoons are also going to have a go. They're against my fusiliers. My fusiliers 100% outshoot them. Fire at will, Commander. Oh, they're firing at the Bashis. Good, sh good decision. You men cease fire and reload. Get stuck in just to make sure that they die. You men go kill the Simony. But apart from that, a lot of dead infantry. There go the Bashis. Oh, that's they're dying rapidly, and they're all also shattered. Oh, you're so close. Yeah, you guys are also bugged. Interesting. Well then, let's move up. Those poor Semini are shattered. These men are under attack. Look at them fall. Yep, and they also are broken. Push forward, see them off the land. Get my guns to fire round shot. Lots of cavalry coming in. Sepahi this time. Let's see if you can do anything better. Keep the guns moving, keep my line moving forward. They may elect to charge me at close quarters, which if they do, I applaud their initiative. That's right, we're marching right up into your face, Cicerelli, I don't even care. We're gonna have you. Actually, concentrate your fire on one unit. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. I wonder if my guys are ready to fire. They might get a volley off against me first. And they are. No, my guys have to reload. They fired a pistol as well. I heard it. <laughs> you guys are going to suffer. No, they're going to redeploy. Yeah, my fuse laser will be fine, they'll break. Deploy the cavalry. Let's tie up one unit of cavalry. Human push. 
fusiliers deploy into squares just to make sure. Home square, damn it. No easy targets for you here. How it says ceasefire. There comes the unit of skirmish cavalry. Bows drawn. They're not going to charge. Uh, don't have to charge, but you're gonna. There goes another enemy cavalry unit. And then this one's the last one kicking. Oh, let's kill them as they run through our line. Yeah, a lot of enemy cavalry. Did a good amount of damage, but not enough to cause us to seriously consider breaking our line. Nice. 751 men remaining. It's more than I'd like. That's two stacks of Ottoman troops pushed away. You've gone to Belgrade. You men can't replenish, but push on to there. You men. This blob of troops does not need to be garrisoned. Does not need to be acting as a garrison any longer. Push towards Sarajevo and secure it. You men infiltrate Belgrade. That allows you to push well, at least up. Because you can't yet reinforce. Apart from that though, uh, I think we're going to hit end turn. So let's hit end turn. Get ready for the Ottoman end turn phase. I think you've got off lightly there with the uh, with the Swedish, but they will suffer for their betrayal. Poland is redeploying her units away from Russian cities because we are no longer at war. Ideally, we can push up and secure more territory in the Balkans and bottle up their forces in uh, Transylvania. But see you in a second, everyone. Mm, Russia's continuing. Ooh, are they actually going to send forward? Ooh. The Russian offensive has begun. Once they've lost their Polish backup, they've decided now is the time to strike. You can raid if you, those buildings if you like. They are nothing but uh, building sites. You, they may be going to collect more troops. Guess which they have. More than happy for them to raid. More than happy. Not a problem. The main thing is holding Copenhagen. I've got troops in place to uh, at least uh, squash the Swedish attack. They are going to get picked up by a Mughal fleet and then sent somewhere else. So yeah, it's kind of imperative I expand my military capabilities in Europe. We've suddenly got threats coming from all angles again. So you men secure the bridge. You men secure Sarajevo. Just demand the surrender of the city because there's no garrison there. You know what is very tempting to do? It's very tempting to try and seek peace with the Ottomans after losing a lot of territory. Even that means we don't necessarily get Damascus. I'm fine with not getting Damascus because it's, it's a better front line to protect here at Jerusalem anyway. So let's chill out, Ottomans. Oh, actually they're not going to go for it. Fine. Uh, won't be long till they... Until they... Uh, fight us at Damascus anyway, in which case, sir, Athens can recruit. I mean, I'll get demi cannons, it's because I have to. Apart from that, though, recruit a garrison force with some gendarmerie cavalry to protect Athens, while Franz Lauter advances towards Istanbul. 
I could go by C, but there's, I'm not overly worried about making it, getting it done quick. So you're building your garrison unit. Okay, so the main focus is upgrading industrial towns in the center of developed Europe that are prosperous because they will provide the most amount of income. 38,000 a turn. Yeah, we're losing trade. But I'm not overly fussed about trade. You are two turns away from being fully geared up. Same with... No, well, you're one turn away from being geared up. You redeploy east against Berlin. Let's get my ships out of here. I doubt they were... Oh, that's true. We lost all the recruitment of those ships. Not ideal. Um, you men stay in port. See if you can lure them back across. Try to push you back out. Try to recruit some more protection. Although, to be honest, you can probably save your recruitment. And just go north anyway, so I can cancel this unit of line infantry. Migi, your gold mine. You're gonna get, be, you're gonna go to Gdansk and be shipped to Finland. This army is gonna be shipped to Norway. You will get ready to fight, Mr. Polak, Gudmar Polak. Lots of recruitment here as well. So you men shuffle in and join that general. Good. Okay, let's get... Okay, I need cash. Cash is king. Prosperous Iron Workshops become Iron Masters Works. How happy are you? Plus 18. That's going to get a lot, of, a lot happier. So yeah, I can, I can handle with a craft workshop upgrade you to an Iron Master's work. So I need to start boosting, really boosting my tax base. So my army is going to expand rapidly in short order. And that is why Coburg researching classical economics is so important. That's some really good wealth boosting techs right there. But that's looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the Kingdom of Bavaria. Cheers, everyone.